Hi, my name is Rami Swayze. I'm a gastroenterology consultant who works at the University College Hospital on the NHS. And in the private sector, I work at One Wellbeck Clinic as well as at the London Clinic. Wireless pH monitoring uh, is a procedure whereby we measure reflux uh, without a tube in the nose. This is whereby we place a capsule, which is this long, at the bottom of the esophagus through a camera. We place the camera down and then we measure the position that the capsule should go. The capsule is placed with a wire. Um, it is attached with a little suture device, after which the wire is removed mm -hmm. and the capsule is confirmed to be in place by taking a picture with a camera. This stays in place for the next four days and it measures how much reflux takes place during the day and the night. You also have a recorder that measures what is happening wirelessly such that you can identify each symptom which is pre-assigned according to whatever you're describing. And every time you have a symptom, you press the button so that it measures uh, whether or not that symptom is correlated with that reflux. There's also buttons that measure whether or not you're eating or drinking, and you have to press it in advance of starting to eat and drink and press it again when you stop eating and drinking. You also press it when you lie down and you press it when you wake up. So we can measure in different positions um, and differentiate between upright, supine, mealtime, and after uh, meals. Now this measures for over the next four days, um, up to four days. It's also important for us to determine who might need assessing in advance of the capsule. For example, if you have a history of Crohn's disease, or if you have a history of having had bowel surgery, these conditions we, you need to highlight to us, please, in advance, because we need to perform a test to make sure that there is no narrowing in the bowel. It's very unlikely, and it's mostly a theoretical risk, but if there is a narrowing in the bowel somewhere, when the capsule drops, it can get stuck there. And so we need to def define who is at risk of that or not. Also, it's important for us to determine if you have an allergy to metal, because the, the sensor inside might does have some metal in it, and we need to make sure that you're not allergic to any metals such as nickel. Once the test is over, the capsule drops on its own, you return the recorder um, to us, and then we'll provide the report, which uh, summarizes the whole uh, four days uh, of the recording and provides information with regards to how much acid reflux has taken place and how many of these reflux events are associated with the symptoms that you are complaining of.